Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. I'm gonna start on the big table today. This project all got finished with the mosaic, but I do have to paint the edges, wire the back, ship it out with cleaning instructions. That's one thing. Second of all, I had a little mishap. It was quite cluttered last week and I dropped this big tray of Swarovski crystals. I cleaned up the mess, but I have to sort them and get them back. This is something I will do while I'm watching TV with my husband. I need to clean up the green. I have to mail out the beaded project to the Museum of Beadwork. This, I think I'm gonna start a project, another group project, I have to get the substrate ready called the Connecting Project. And I'm gonna use some of this new Smalty that I got from Smalty Emporium. Swinging around in my Smalls table. I brought these to the table because they're getting grouted this week. And uh, now that they're here, they're not going anywhere until they get grouted. And then I pulled these from my garden. These are some stepping stones, pretty small stepping stones that my kids made. And as you can see, the gems have fallen out. They're quite old. They must have made them, I don't know, 10 years ago or something. I'm just gonna glue some gems in there and stick them back out in the garden. But I wanted to start that repair job and then my stepping stones. And I'm gonna start a big project too, but uh, with all these little projects, they keep me going until I can cement the big project in my mind. Once that's cemented, then I can get started on it. That's all for now. Repairing these is pretty easy. I'm using clear GE2 silicone, and I've already selected the gems. I just put a generous amount of this, it's waterproof. And no one really steps on these. We just look at them in the garden. In fact, no one's really looked at them for quite a while until I noticed that they were missing the stones. So it'll be nice to fix them. For my daughter, I think she likes a colorful bunch of stones. I'm trying to think back what she would have done. So that's her scheme. For my older son, I think he would like a blue-green scheme so that's what i'm doing there and for my younger son show his in a second Let me glue this one on this is a bear i know it doesn't look like one from his childhood named honey which was yellow colored so i think he was going for a white and amber theme there so that's what i finished his with to think back what they were like when they were little. And I'll take a card on the back. This week's garden tour is of my vegetable garden. I just have this little box. It's in my front near my driveway because that's where the only place in my yard that gets a lot enough sun. Unfortunately, it's not as much sun as I'd like. These pots, I planted some cauliflower because I didn't have enough room in my garden. Some purple basil and I have some stevia in another pot. These are carrots. Uh, I think I've got about 10 tomato plants in here and unfortunately they don't get as much sun as I'd like and I'm taking the video because they're starting to have some issues. I wanted to take the video before they all looked totally terrible. I've got some peppers in here. That one's a jalapeno, but I've got banana peppers doing pretty well and also some green peppers. 
I still have lettuce in here because it's been so crazy cool. I have some cucumbers that are starting to produce. I put these pink trellises up for them. I have some cilantro that needs to be pulled because it's gone to flower. Some zucchini down here. I have a spinner that keeps the birds scared away. And there is my sun mosaic looking over it all because this is the sunniest spot in the yard. Here's my strawberry patch my sister gave me, all the strawberries. This is a rogue pumpkin growing from some compost that I put there. It goes all the way around this big tree back there. That's the neighbor's yard right there. Just cut back some grass. And these canna lilies and zinnias, zinnias I plant. I've got lantana here. Uh, lots of pollinator flowers to bring them to my garden. That's it. Again, one or two a day. my inspiration photo of the butterfly which is not very symmetrical this wing is a little bit foreshortened and I wanted it more symmetrical on my stepping stone and so I cut that portion off drew this in and then flipped it over to get the shape of the other wing so it would be more outspread and symmetrical off most of this sanded grout and let it sit for about 20 minutes so now it's ready to be buffed off looks good This situation where you see these is evidence of glue that was remained on there while when I grouted. I'll have to clean it up. Now I have to keep this inside for three days before I seal it. Just sealing the grub. And that's putting it together. See you next time.